So here we have the Citroen C3 on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As you can see, we have plenty of boot space, which you can increase by using the 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you need to do that. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the right-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the left-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the total mass of the car, which are 27,815. Above that, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges for the car. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have stereo controls here and uh, phone controls on both sides of the steering wheel as well. Just behind the steering wheel, we have cruise control and speed limiter available here. Over the center, you'll find the main touchscreen for the car. So this is where you can access your music menu, which is the one we're on at the moment. There are various different ways you can listen to your music. We have radio, USB input, and iPod input, neither of which are connected at the moment because we don't have a device connected for that. Um, if you hit the satellite navigation button, you'll see this message pop up. Uh, essentially, if you connect your smartphone to the car via USB and you have um, a Citroen-friendly satellite navigation app, it will be available up on this screen for you. It essentially mirrors your phone for the satellite navigation. We've also got our uh, climate control up here, so you can adjust the temperature, fan speed, direction of the air. You can turn your air conditioning on and off from here. You can put it into auto as well. And this is where you pair your phone, just up in the right-hand corner. Working our way down from there, we have the main volume for the stereo. We have a heated rear screen. That button will divert the car's air conditioning, as you can hear, to the front screen. We have a hazard warning, lights, and deadlocks to lock the car doors from the outside. We have a 12 volt charging socket, auxiliary and USB inputs, and then a five speed manual gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.